Hi, my name is Rita and I am a designer on the creative team here at Orange Media Network. Even prior to coming to Orange Media Network, I had been super passionate about design and media publication. So as soon as I came in as a freshman, my fall term, I applied. Luckily, they took a chance on me. They hired me early on and I've been lucky enough to be creating here in this amazing space ever since. I work with a set of designers to come up with all the visuals that uh, we produce here and that can range from creating newspaper layouts, creating design spreads, or working with clients at OSU. We work towards making all the visuals that you see from start to finish. <gasps> what do we think? Maroon. Oh, I like that. For every design I make, typography is the number one thing that I think about before starting. I think it's the first thing that most people look at. It's the first thing that I look at. I try to make it unique and fun. I like to think outside of the box. Typography has like the power to, I think, influence your overall design. So one of my favorite designs that I've made up until this point is the poster and visuals for the cuties. Every year at OMN we have an awards night where we like to celebrate all the hard work and successes that the Orange Media Network team has had. The very first thing that I focused on was the type. So I went for this kind of cartoony retro look. I brought in this really fun looking font and I manipulated it to kind of have that wave. I wanted to bring in, you know, a little orange to represent like a cutie for the cuties and design it to be like glitzy and glamorous, but also be really lighthearted and fun. I think it really helped influence the design to have more dimension and, and movement into the design, as opposed to if it was just like a simple straight across like sans serif font. After I get my type going, I can finally move on in the design process and I like to focus on layout placement next. Layout plays a really big role in influencing the overall look of your design. I like to just play around with moving things around in unconventional places and just transforming the overall look of the layout. This is another design that I came up with for The Barrow, our newspaper. The story was about iconic Civil War games in the past. So we talked about like like eight different games and there was like a lot of text, and there was a lot of pictures, and there was just like all of these visual elements. The thing about news is that there's a lot of requirements and rules that you need to follow. And that is something that I have a really hard time with. I don't like when there's a lot of rules. It was hard to kind of come up with a layout that encompassed all of those visual elements in a nice, organized, unique way that also like fit with all of the newspaper requirements. So I created this like cir circular infographic and had the text come out of it just to put some more visual interest to the subject of the story. At the end of it, I'm really happy with the results. I think that I was able to create um, a pretty nice visually looking design out of all the information I was given. So at this point, we probably have a pretty good structure going with our typography and layout, and we have all the building blocks for the overall design. I think the final element that just brings it all together is color. I think color plays a really important role in design. It can definitely make or break it. Adding that color to all the elements that you have just makes it all cohesive and brings your artwork to life. One thing that I really like to do with color is pick one dominant color and just have it really pop in whatever design I'm doing. For this BD spread, I want it to make it a little different than what we usually do. So I manipulated the photos into uh, being black and white and I introduced a pop of red behind each of the photos with different like areas of red, uh, like a bright red, to contrast with the black and white. I liked playing around with like a dominant color into my design and just have that speak for itself. What I love about design is how unique it is from person to person. If you were to give me and my creative team a project and just gave us a set of requirements, 
I can pretty much guarantee you that every designer would give you a completely different looking design. And I think that's just so cool because every designer has a different perspective on how they want to create artwork. And you can just kind of see in their design bits and pieces of their personality. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> my ultimate goal is to have me as a person and who I am translate into my design and kind of reflect who is Rita. I remember when I first came to Omen, I had like no idea who I was as a designer. I would just, you know, get a, get a project and I would just try my best to um, create whatever I could. The creative process isn't just limited to design. It also relates to how I navigate just life in general. And I think it's really cool to have have the designs that I'm making kind of teach me who I am as a person. We'll see. We'll see the more you like get out of your comfort zone and create things that you normally wouldn't, um, you can kind of figure out what works for you, what doesn't. It eventually leads you to figure out who you are as a person. It's a journey. It's a design journey. We're all in this design world together. At the end of the day, just it's important to just create stuff that you love. <laughs> If you want to find out more about what Creative does, feel free to pick up one of our publications on stands all around campus. Always feel free to visit us up on the fourth floor of the Student Experience Center or find out more information at orangemedianetwork.com.